Greetings and welcome to the Dream Syndicate. In today's video, we're building a Halloween jack-o'-lantern art doll, so let's get crafting. We've already painted and sculpted our jack-o'-lantern head, and now we just have to go about building a body for him. The first thing we have to do is drill a hole into his neck so the armature wire can go up into it. I snipped a bunch of pieces of green hemp that I'm going to use to glue around the neck of the character so it's going to give him a more organic feel to him. As I work, I'm alternating between Fabri-Tac and putting a hemp strip on. This way I can get the best bond between the hemp and the Fabri-Tac. Since I used a wash on the jack-o'-lantern's face, I'm doing the same around the neck as well, so this way they'll have a more unified color palette. Next I use hot glue to help hold on the twigs at the ends of the arms of the art doll, so it's like he has these little twiggy hands. I'm using little bits of hemp string and winding that around the twigs as well. It looks cool and it'll also help make sure the twigs stay on the hands. Now I'll use my hot glue gun to put some twigs in the middle and help fill it out a bit. Next I'll use some Fabri-Tac and apply some straw around where the feet are. And in the same way that we bound up the top of the twigs, I'll do the same thing with the straw here and it'll help hold it onto the ankles and feet. Next, I'm going to use acrylic matte medium to attach a thin layer of cotton batting all over the armature on the arms and legs. If you want to join me in making imaginary reality, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. I wrapped the arms and legs in drafting tape to keep the cotton batting together, and now I'm trimming some upholstery foam that I attach to the torso area. Here's a jack-o'-lantern art doll with his head on, but he's still naked. To make clothes for the character, I'm taking measurements from him and then applying that to the fabric underneath. What's your favorite haunting Halloween holiday horror? Frankenstein? Wolfman? Dracula? Let me know down in the comments! With my shirt fabric cut out, I'll spend some time pinning it into place and fussing with it on the art doll. Once all of our seams are all pinned up, we can start sewing the shirt fabric. I decided to give him a vest, so I'm cutting out the armholes for that now. This jack-o'-lantern's twig arms make it pretty hard to put clothes on him. It looks like there's going to be too much fabric for his vest, so I'm going to just go ahead and trim some of that away. If you'd like a print featuring this art doll, leave a link in the pinned comment where you can get it.
This orange plaid fabric that I'm using for his vest is actually from an old shirt that I had that I ripped out the elbow, and I've saved it just in case I wanted to make something from it. Since it is a relatively small repeat pattern, I thought it was perfect for art doll making. Now I just want to add the detail of a button on his chest here. Let's get a look at how our jack-o'-lantern art doll turned out. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to join me in making the imaginary reality, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Until next time, make believe!